What's up, y'all? It's Ant Glitch and it's Bob and Son TV. And today we got. <laughs> y'all, I swear to God, I be having so much going on. I blinked out. I forgot what we got. We got so much going on. Today we got David Ruffin got into it with the comedians. He said he the littlest comedian in the DMV. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I don't know who David Ruffin is. It's some guy. He's, he stole the guy name from The Temptations. And now he want to use the name and he feel like he about to blow up off of it. I got to make sure my dog okay. My dog don't like making sounds. But yeah, now he feel like he the real David Ruffin. And he can just live off his name. You type in David Ruffin, he don't need pop up. That's the guy from the Egg Lizzie fight though, y'all. I was boxing him. He said he knocked me out. He the guy who whooped Egg Lizzie. It's like he just live a facade. Long story short. He got to with another comedian. It's a comedian from the DMV, and they did like a top five comedian list, and they left David Ruffin off. But he left David Ruffin off respectfully, like he ain't diss Davy or nothing. Davy ego, and he think he the biggest. So Davy know the guy named Andy. He went off on the guy Andy, like Andy, you live in your mother's house, you thirty one, this that and the third. Davy, you live with that girl that you just met. Like your kids was over her house for Christmas, and you only knew her for a month. Every way you go is a girl house. Like you live in females house. You don't have a home, bro. You don't have a car. You don't even drive. You had a 2009 5 Series BMW. That jump probably called them 5 right now. Like, what world are you living, bro? You don't have nothing. You ain't famous, bro. Anybody can buy them bot followers, bro, and get them bot likes with all them bot comments. Bro, you had 3,000 comments, 2,000 comments, 300 comments, 5,000 likes, 8,000 likes, 25,000 likes, a million views, 300,000 comments. You could get five people to go see you know it. You couldn't go to YouTube and get over a thousand views. You could start a YouTube podcast if you want to. It won't do 5K views. You could get 3K views on a podcast with guests. I guess they don't let. I guess you ain't buy. I guess you ain't buy the buzz on. It's like this. If you had a real buzz, you'd be like Aunt Lizzie got a real buzz. I can lose a hundred K followers, get a hundred K followers back on Instagram again ten times. I can get a hundred K subscribers on YouTube. I can build it myself. Like I got backup pages with 30, 40,000 followers. What else? I can go to DJ Academics on his platform and do a million. I can go to Say Cheese platform and do a million. You feel what I'm saying? Dave Ruffin couldn't sit down. Nothing. Dave Ruffin couldn't do an interview in the world talking about nothing that'll do a million views. But he feel like he famous in his head, y'all. How you famous and your kids don't have a house to come to? That you don't have a room for your kids. Like you don't have a that's your father's house because they have a room. No, you don't have a room for yourself. Like, bro, what are you making? Like, are you stuck in a facade, bro? Wake up, you need a job in five years. Jumping out trees, doing all these skits, ain't gonna pay the bills. I promise you they ain't gonna pay the bills, bro. Society getting high, life going up, likes is not paying for the bills, bro. I'm just here to tell you, that is not gonna work. So he get into it with Andy. Andy said David Ruffin wasn't this. Davey went off on Andy, they went back and forth. Andy is another comedian, but Andy a good guy for real. I had a conversation with him, you know, I did went off on him. Davey feel like he can get over him. So David Ruffin goes out, he be out and about. Everything he do, they send it to me. I stopped talking about him on the channel though, y'all. He ain't really nobody. Like nobody don't really care. He think people care. I don't know, y'all. I'm confused. I don't know. But I guess they bought bots. So many bots that he feel like the bots are real. He got more followers than Aunt Lizzie and No Savage put together. I'm gonna be quiet. But y'all get it. It's like, bro, your life don't even match it, bro. Like. The comedians do that here. They buy followers, get likes. Y'all probably ain't big enough or know but that pages write you like social media pages. They can be like marketing, digital marketing pages. They can promise you this amount of likes, this amount of comments on the post, run your views up. They give you a test run and all that. I don't need all that. Nah, I ain't with none of that. That's all they do. It don't make sense. But it's going to blackball y'all career because y'all can't really go nowhere. I can move the traffic anyway. I can go from Instagram to YouTube, from YouTube to wherever. I can go to MySpace, bro. Wherever the website is, I'm going to be popping now because I really have a buzz, but it's like it's not about a buzz. These guys think they famous. They ain't even famous, bro. Like, you don't even drive. You don't, these guys don't drive. They don't own a business. They can't even afford merch. I just spent 7500 on merch. They ain't got $7,500 in their life savings. Are you running a brand or are you just talking? Appreciate all my supporters. I sold out. I don't got no more inventory. I got a couple. I got three more in my car. And these two I got to drop off, man. I appreciate it. I have merch. Nice pocket and sell for the people. But yeah, it was Davey went out to eat the other day. So as Davey went out to eat, he ain't tip. He ain't tip his bartenders. I mean, he ain't tip his waitress. So they went on Twitter and they talked about him. That's just what they do. Like, man, if you out and about, you a public figure. You say you're a celebrity and all that. Long story short, he went out and got a bill. 
His bill was like one something. He barely got stuff. He ain't tipping. He ain't doing long story short, I went and got a bill. I bill ain't got nothing. I was mad at the bill. At the bill, the bill was two something. I still tipped my bartender fifty dollars. That's one part of it. Davey can never. My bartender perfect. Tip your bartender. I got a thirty eight dollar bill. Right. You gonna tip that man? That ain't had nothing to do. That's this fifty dollars that bartender. Got, that person got. Then I went to the bar over to the bar and ordered two drinks to go. The two drinks to go was only thirty dollars. I tipped them fifty dollars. It's like you appreciate your people. God put me in the position of, that I can help my people. It ain't even about the liquor. It ain't about I got money or nothing. It's just I want people to appreciate their job so they can go to my road. They can make it their job ain't high. You never know what the next person going through. But long story short. The person that I tip, I don't even know the guy. I'm sitting at the bar, and he's telling me, like, I know you from somewhere. So a white guy. I don't know. He don't know me at all. But he like, well, I know you from somewhere. I'm like, YouTube. I get that a lot. He like, yeah, but guess what he knew me from? He knew me from a Vine that had 100 million views on it. I had a Vine. Jay, Jay, world fast, yeah, I never needed it. I'm in love with the pot. Like, I had one of them Vines, and that jumped did like 100 million back in the Vine days. He remembered me from that. Not from no Aunt Glizzy, no Shy Glizzy, no none of that. None of this YouTube is even... So he was talking about that. He started reacting to live, like reacting to Vine. I was like, man, this white guy from that, that's, that's deep. That was tough. So long story short, I got my bill, got my drink, and I had uh, wrote the bill off. And my bill was like 30 some dollars. I gave him a $50 tip on my car. He went home and did the same thing. Davey had that tip. They went home and the, the I'm going to show y'all. Davey ain't tip. And this is what they said about him. I tip and this is what the waiter said about me. It's a difference. It's levels to this, like the atmosphere talk. Like so, if you talking this money stuff, you got this, you got that, bro. It got you gotta live it too. I talk it, but I really live it. Like my mom don't want for nothing, bro. I got receipts. She don't want for nothing, bro. I'm cash out unlimited. She okay. My supporters don't even want for nothing for real, bro. Cause you don't even know, bro. If you pay attention, my supporters, I look out for them too. I look out for everybody, bro. I saying I'm giving out money or this. Like, even if I can give you a blessing or a word, bro. If I can give you a word, my voice is track on that. Now Davey broke out here, ain't got nothing. Now let's be on. Them. David Ruffin don't get this. I ain't got nothing. His mother said what he she, what she said. He ain't go back and repeat that. Toya left him. Everybody left him. He's still stuck on Toya. On my mother, he swear he just make girls. These girls be famous. When I make them, they be blowing up. These girls be having nine to five jobs. Don't got hundred and fifty dollars to their name. Ain't got nothing. Work nine to five jobs before you and after you. How you change these girl lives? It's crazy to me that you sitting around in that nonsense. Before I go by, I ain't trying to go broke like David. David Ruffin ain't even funny, y'all. I swear to God, I don't be hating on nobody. Pre the funniest person in the, the shout out to preach, shout out to Cray, shout out. The funny fat Marco, shout out to everybody. But it's like, Dave, you ain't even funny. Every time somebody look at David Ruffin, you they just gonna remember something from Aunt Glizzy. Like, you the big, you Aunt Glizzy big, like on oh, my mother. Like, you ain't even funny, bro. None you ever see it funny. You jumping out of trees, you got two kids, you jumping out of trees, your ankles hurt, cowboys lost the playoffs because of you, because you around that black cat and talking about Jumping out of trees with football outfits on, you throwing me off. You a whole father, IED auto. Promo commercial for two hundred. You living off ID Auto commercials? They give him two hundred dollars to jump out of the car. ID Auto. He don't need drive. Imagine doing a promo for a car like that's the thing about the DMV comedians, y'all. I seen all the DMV comedians do. Fat Marco don't count. He drive. That's my, that's my driver. I seen all the DMV comedians do ID. Uh, this free promo for ID. They ain't even matter. There's some shit called ID Auto. They be selling limits, y'all. Don't go buy them cars. I'm just here to tell y'all they trying to get the comedians. But I ain't get all that. ID Auto. ID auto like all the comedians do skits in their cars and they pan. The comedians don't need got cars. Imagine getting out of car telling somebody come by a car and Uber home or looking for a ride to get home. Bob is on TV. Don't believe none of the hype. Oh, hey, guess what? Tell everybody I shooting a music video tonight at U Street. Nah, don't say that David's gonna pull up and slap the shit up his. Not about to slap me in the music video. If he does that, it's gonna camera. Bye. I don't have nothing. That's some hot shit. All right, Jay Reed. <laughs> I said Davey, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Free Davey, that's crazy. On me. Why are you taking his charger, fool? I'll give him a charger, bro. Stop it. Bye. I don't have nothing. Bye. If Toya knew Davey was going to fake on her like that, she'd have never opened that back door for his ass. She'd have left his ass right outside. <laughs> oh, yeah. Toya, say that boy life. If Toya wouldn't open that emergency exit, we'd have beat Davey ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. So how did how did you and Davey start beefing? Because he just started with me yesterday. So I don't know what how does it, how does it go. He got he got knocked out by a white boy down Ocean City. It all started on the boardwalk. He <laughs> keep talking about everything is marvelous. You said you started on Ocean City. 
He's riding down Ocean City. Nigga knocked his ass out. Damn. Damn. I didn't even know that. It wasn't a skit or nothing. shit with a bitch. Y'all, it's called getting a spot together. What are you talking about, bro? Hey, Andy, why you going on Davy so bad? That nigga started my villain arc, bro. Bye. I don't have nothing. <laughs> I feel nothing. Bye. I live with my moms. Duh. Hey, hey, Listen to me, cuz. Any nigga that went to a private school, right. like DeMath or something right. like that, and you you 31 years old, you still live with your mother? Bye. You ain't got no job. You walk around in Power Rangers and Super Mario so outfits and SpongeBob outfits. You are slow. I can't argue with you, bro. Come on, in, man. You want? Uh, I quit. Andy, you want? Stop it. I can't argue with a slow nigga. <laughs> I can't yeah. win with a slow nigga. You can't beat niggas like that. How the fuck I'm gonna win? You don't care about working no way. You don't care about looking wild as shit. You don't care. <laughs> Keep talking about everything is mom. You don't care. <laughs> nigga can't beat you. I know something you don't know. I was the promise for you still slow. Jumping out of chairs for IG shows. Who's been to a baby show? Only God knows. Sit at the club and dance all day. Bye. I don't have nothing. Bye. With light green phone, phone pauses and a wizard's jersey. Oh, uh, what? Or if you don't get your Benjamin Button dressing ass the fuck out in. Damn. Davey don't want no smoke. Bye. I don't I'm have none. Bye. Let the people amp you up, Andy. You got it. I'm, I can't. I can't compete. Why well, I can't compete?